Hey guys, it's Carnage6 back again with another review, and this time I've got a series of four quite rare statues from 1989 by a company called Carlson Comics, which is a German-based company. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I think these were the only four statues they ever produced on Dragon Ball Z, but if I'm wrong about that, you can uh, comment below. Now, let's take a look at these unique figures. Okay, well first off I'm going to just start off by talking about the boxes, because they are rather unique. They're a little bit of a plain design, but as you see it says Vegeta, and I'm assuming that's his name in Japanese, I don't know. And the unique thing about it is that, when you turn the box to a different side, you can see a different side of the figure before you even buy it. So you can kind of see all angles of what the figure looks like. That's pretty cool. And on the back there it just says some stuff in German, which I don't know what it means. Next up we have Krellin, or Kururin as I guess he's known in Europe. Then we have Son Goku. And finally, we have Piccolo. And now, let's take a look at them out of the box. First off, we're going to start with Vegeta. Now, looking at the pictures on the box is one thing, but seeing them in person is quite another thing. And hopefully I'll be able to show you all the detail. I'm going to start off by saying that when I saw images of these figures, I wasn't really impressed. And getting the statues, I'm really not that impressed. If you're going for high-end quality Dragon Ball statues, there's a lot better choices than these, but I'll get to that later. First off, let's look at the details of this Vegeta figure. Yes, as you can see, when we get a bit more up close, you can tell there's quite a few paint splotches and uh, just not too great paintwork. <laughs> uh, and that's not to say these are the only problems. I mean, the base sculpt is kind of weak too. I mean, these are great if you're a huge Dragon Ball collector like me. You just have to have every Dragon Ball figure, but... You know, there's there's problems with these. Let's let's put it that way. So next up we have the Krellin statue. And again, the paint apps and everything don't really wow me. I do like this pose a little bit better than the Vegeta one. But let's take a closer look at him. Oh yes, and one thing I should mention, that uh, mine had a broken bit on it right here. It's supposed to attach to the house back here, but that's not a problem with the figure. Just because it's a statue and it's been shipped uh, from Europe. Also, if you're wondering, the uh, girder that uh, Krellin is holding is actually held on by two metal poles here. That's pretty good. Keeps it pretty stable. Again, as we get really close, you can see that... Uh, the sculpting is passable, it's not amazing, but again, the sloppy paintwork, you can see some slop around the wristbands there and around the eyes. Uh, it just doesn't say high-end statue to me, but there's still two more statues to go. And finally, we have the Sun Goku statue. Now, this one's kind of weird. I do like the fact that he's got the pole in his hand, and it is removable if you want to. It kind of, when you slide it in and out of the hand, the paint comes off of the pole quite easily, which I don't like, but eh, I'll live with it. 
And I'm not really sure. I do like the way how they put the Nimbus Cloud connected to this so it looks like it's floating, but I really don't like that head sculpt. I know it's supposed to be like a wind-blown kind of effect, but I don't know. He just looks like he's friggin' nuts or something. Not the type of head sculpt I would have gone for. And again, as we go for the extreme close-up, you can see, you know, the bad paint marks all over the place, the bad sculpting, the crazy look. This looks like Psycho Goku. I really don't like this one at all. The design of the actual statues, quite nice, but, I mean, just the, you know, the sculpting of the face and everything is just throws me off. And finally, we have the Piccolo figure. Now, the Piccolo figure is the biggest and most impressive looking, I guess, of the bunch. But that's not really saying much, so let's take a closer look. And again, going in for a closer look, you can see some of the same problems I've complained about before. The sloppy paint, the not too great sculpt. I mean, honestly, this is probably the best sculpt of all of them, but uh, again, that's not saying much. So yeah, all in all, as I've said before, I mean, if you're a Dragon Ball completist, a crazy Dragon Ball fan like me, and you got to have every single figure ever created, then by all means, go find these. You know, there are kind of rare to, to find, but uh, I think if you search on eBay Germany, you could probably find them easy. I found a couple already just searching for this review. So if you really want them, they're out there. But that being said, I don't recommend paying too much for them. Even though they're rare, they're, you know, the quality is just not there. The paint apps are horrible. The sculpting is pretty horrible on most of them. I mean, even some of the poses, like the Vegeta one is pretty ridiculous looking, And if you ask me. So, all in all, save your money. And as I was mentioning before, if you're looking for high-end Dragon Ball statues, there's way more to choose from than just these things. So, don't bother even looking for these. I mean, go for the High Dream statues. They're pretty cool. And just search on eBay for the bootleg resin statues. They're amazing compared to these things. Well, guys, that's about it for my review of the Carlson Comics Dragon Ball statues. I really hope you guys liked the review. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please just post them below. And if you want to show me your Dragon Ball collection, post a video response, post a comment, and I'll be happy to look at it. So anyway guys, that's all for now, and I'll see ya.